Hey everybody, welcome back to Christopher Farms. Chris here. I am gonna do a couple things today. First, I need to reconfigure my solar panels. I have them in series and I need to put them in parallel. I'll explain more about that here in a minute. And the other thing is, I've got my GoPro camera in and I've got it recording. So I'm recording me, recording me, or something like that. Anyway, this is sort of a test run for my GoPro. Got my accessory kit in, so I have it up on my head and I think I got it dialed in. Probably do a more in-depth video on the GoPro at a future date but right now I'm just sort of testing it out and testing editing stuff in so mainly I'm going to talk about solar panels today and getting them configured differently than they are right now so stay tuned and I'll be right back All right, you, can, you probably understand the basics of solar power. So just real generally, sun comes down, hits these panels, they produce power, store them in a battery bank, and I can run my tiny house off of them. That's the basic concept. But there is, um, they're configured wrong for how I have them right now, and I didn't have the parts to configure them correctly. Right now they're configured in series. So the power from the far panel comes through to this panel, and comes through to this panel and then goes to the battery bank and charge controller stuff like that and then comes back and that adds the voltages so they're 12 volt panels so 12 24 36 and i do have a fourth panel back here but in this configuration i couldn't get it put in there that's because in this configuration if any one of these solar panels is blocked for whatever reason it degrades the amount of energy that they can pass real basically. So over there on that one, I can see that there's a tree, a big tree there, probably shading it. And there's a little shade here on this panel from that one. And there's some shade here. It just doesn't look like it's in full sun. And this one over here would be in full shade if I had it plugged in. So I, it would not work out very well. I do have it plugged in there because something's better than nothing. And that's how it's been configured at this point. So right now back here, uh, I'm going to have to do some adjusting and I just got those parts in so let's go take a look at that all right here is what I got in the mail the other day connectors galore I've got some more MC4 connectors I don't think I'm going to use those today but I will at one point so I got a lot of those and this is what I'm going to use to combine the solar cells in parallel rather than series. Nice windy day out here today. So these are the connectors that I'm going to use and don't need to answer that one. So these are the connectors that I'm going to use. So I'll put all four panels into this side and it feeds into the single one here. Uh, one side being negative and the other side being positive. Uh, and so all four of my panels will feed into then this connector on the other positive side or whatnot and then feed out here. So then with these two connectors, I can run to my charge controller and this increases amperage rather than increases voltage like I have them set up now. So let's get that taken care of. I also say these things here are pretty handy. These are, I guess, MC4 connector wrenches. They, uh, you can use them to uh, take these connectors apart or tighten them up and put them together, uh, depending on what you're doing and uh, what size connectors you have. And uh, they, they're pretty handy. And then they also, these connectors have these little ears in here when they snap together and you can use them to take those apart which we'll probably see here in just a second. So the first thing I need to do is disconnect my panels. Here's where these things come in handy. It's really hard to pinch these connectors and uh, get them all. This is, a, this is an operation where it helps if you have three or more hands uh, on one body. Hey, 
Here we go. No, that's not it. There we go. All right, all those panels are disconnected. Hi, Spot, how are you today? So I'll see if I can, oh, the way these things are spaced, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them all in the same spot, but we will see. This might work. I don't know if I can get my fourth panel in there or not, but might be able to. And this is all this is all just temporary leaning here. And because of the trees and when the leaves come on, I'm really not going to get any sun here in the summertime. So I'll probably end up moving them down onto the bank where they get the morning sun. Or maybe over towards the road where they can get the evening sun so we'll see so here is my fourth panel and i don't well yeah there we go i've got all four panels hooked in i think we're going to be good to go let me get my other connector These connectors go together pretty easy. Um, you can get the, uh, you can make your own up uh, by the, the connectors and then make, use your own wire and whatnot. That's what my other 10 connectors, 10 or 20 that I just bought are for. If you're uh, getting into solar and you're like, well, maybe I'll need two of those connectors, you might as well go ahead and buy 10 because you'll find that You'll probably want to reconfigure them someday, or you'll have a buddy that says, well, I don't have any of those connectors, and you can take them over there and help him out, or something like that. Okay, last one. There we go. Excellent. So I got all four, have all four of my connectors connected. These uh, temporaries run back to my charge controller. My connectors are a little different design than the other ones are, so just making sure everything was getting hooked up right. All right, so I should have all four panels online connected excuse me all four panels connected up now in uh, parallel and not in series so blocking any one of the solar cells shouldn't reduce what's available so these guys will pick up sun to the afternoon this one will pick up in the evening um, and I could probably come into a little bit better of a configuration but like I said this is all temporary so let's run inside and see what it looks like in there all right here is my charge controller and my fuse down here jumped right up 21 21 volts coming in i got my volts right here Let's wake up now it's tracking figuring out where it needs to be just pulled it down to about 18, 17, 16. Pulling down the voltage to uh, push out some amperage. Now this isn't the best configuration of solar panels for this charge controller. Because this charge controller can take a high voltage, 
high DC voltage coming in and change it to exactly where it needs to be to do the best about charging. And with this configuration, I'm only putting in, you know, open panel voltage of about 20 volts on these 12 volt panels. So it doesn't give a lot of voltage range to work with, but it is right now. It's settled down about 18 volts in, 6.4 volts out, about, well, let's see, 17 volts in, about five amps in, 13.3 volts out at 6.3 amps. Doing pretty good. Let's see. All right, that's it. Got all of my solar panels hooked up in parallel. So the shadows as they come across from the trees and stuff as we go through winter won't degrade the energy coming out of any one particular panel. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, some stuff left to do at one point, get them better configured, get them better pointed towards the sun and whatnot. But for now, it seems All good. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out, believe it or not. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, as well as feel free to make any comments, questions, suggestions, whatever you might have down in the comment section. And I try and get to those as soon as I can, as well as uh, it helps out other people that might watch this video. So thanks, and we'll see you on the next video. Hi, everybody. This is Chris. Thanks for watching the video. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. For everyone else, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below the video window. And to be notified whenever I post a new video, go ahead and hit the notification button as well. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.